Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps, and I spend most of my time in SharePoint and Power Automate. Today I thought I'd demonstrate uh, how to build a reminder workflow, custom reminder workflow. This is a question I've had quite a bit from a variety of people, both clients and from uh, various forums online. Um, so in this example, I'm going to start with a SharePoint document library containing a bunch of documents with a priority, priority column and a you'll see the created dates on here you'll see the created uh, dates all today i've just built this demo in the last few minutes um, but what i'm going to do with this workflow is i'm going to send a reminder based on the priority value and the current date so let's have a look at how we want to do that so firstly two two reasons why you would do it firstly to send reminders when something's due for um, review say 12 months after um, it's been initially published you might want to make sure that the owner of that document reviews it or secondly, if that document's in a workflow um, and it's partway through an approval process but hasn't been actioned yet, then you might want to look at the priority of that item and then see how long it's been um, under review for before it's actually published, So um, before uh, that workflow is complete. So this workflow will allow you to do both with a few modifications, but you'll get the gist. So in Power Automate, I've created a recurring workflow. Uh, so this workflow runs on a uh, on a schedule, um, and I've just set it to run once a day, but you could make that run on whatever frequency you like. Um, the first thing that I need to do is I need to figure out what date it is uh, that I want to get items from. So I'm doing a date calculation, uh, and I'm doing that using a um, using a function here called add days. And if I click onto that, you'll see the um, advanced formula over here. And I'll zoom that out a wee bit, but um, I'll post this into my blog so you can actually see the code that I use in this part. So what that's doing is taking today's date and then it's um, removing um, three days from it. So counting back three days. And then I'm using that to input into a filter value. So I'm using here a compose function. And inside the compose, I am creating a um, filter value for the um, SharePoint query that I'm about to do. So I'm looking at the priority field to see whether the value of the priority field is high. So only find items where it's high. Uh, so EQ is equals. Um, and then I'm looking at where the created date uh, is greater than um, the output of this one up here. So you can change this. this may, you may need to change this calculation based on your requirements, but um, you'll get the gist. So the GE equals greater than the EQ equals equals. And this output here is the value that comes back from here. So the date, today's date minus three in this case. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get properties. So in this one here, I've got my document library that I'm getting properties from. Um, I've got a library called example. And in the show advanced, what I've done is I've added in here the output of the filter value. So that's the output of this function here, of this compose function. Um, so its output goes into here. So what it's going to do is it's going to basically inject this code into here and filter the values. And then once I've done that, I'm going to then apply the process to each. So I've got a library which might contain multiple documents. So this get files is going to return only documents that meet the criteria and then it's going to loop through them and send an email for each document. Uh, and that's also just to make it um, a little bit easier I'm also, uh, to see, I'm also going to go through and update the metadata um, with a reminder sent and the UTC time of the time that reminder was sent. So we create a history. Um, you'll see in here also in the email format, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm getting the uh, created by email, you could use the owner and owner field, any people field um, value could be used here. I'm inserting the name of the document into the email subject line to make it easy for the uh, recipient to know which document I'm referring to and I'm including a link to the item down here which will have them to click that and take it to the document. So that's how it's built, let's see how it runs. So I'll just zoom my screen a wee bit again. So just a quick reminder, back over in my document library here I've got I'm looking for documents with a value of high, and if I click into my workflow here, in fact, let's let's make a change to one of these items. So I'm just going to go into the here, change this value, which is this one, which is low. I'm going to change that to a high value. So what should happen is that should now pick up that document, and I'm just going to take this one that's high, and I'm going to change it to medium. Now what you'll notice in this library is just want you to note the modified by dates on these items. Let's refresh this here. Now those are of course going to modify because I have just updated the metadata on them to a few moments ago. 
Whereas these other items you'll see have been updated. And another thing to note here is that this one here, which is now high, doesn't have a description. Uh, and if we just zoom in on the description value here, you'll see that the description is, um, if we look at the time here, you'll see 39. Um, so that should change when we run the workflow. So back into my workflow. Now to test a timer workflow, you can either wait for it to run or you can just go into edit mode, click test, and then run the workflow manually. So I'm just going to click that and click, click the test button down the bottom. Um, which is just off the screen I think, so click test, that's going to start the workflow and then that will run through, oh, workflow cannot be installed, that's an interesting error, um, so let me just go back and see why that might be, um, let's save the workflow, let's just try testing it again, it's always good when things don't work when you're doing a demo, let's run the flow, Flow ran successfully. Okay, and you'll just hear a couple of pings there. It's the email going off. So in my email, I've got a, uh, a notification here from my um, email. Let's have a wee look. This one here, whoops, that's the uh, MVP award gift email. That's not the one I'm after. So there should be another one come through pretty shortly, which will be my approval reminder. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to go back to my list, my SharePoint library here, and I'm going to refresh that one. I think those notifications that just came through were the ones I'm actually after. And if you remember when we looked at those, this, the um, values have updated. So this one here now has 56. This one also has 56 as the, as the minutes. And you'll see that one above where I changed it back to medium hasn't run because it's now still on 39. Another thing to note here is the modified times on these, although that, this one here is actually modified a few minutes ago. Now we can debug this by going into my workflow, go out of there, uh, we can go back and we can look at the workflow run history. And you'll see that when it comes down here, what it does is it does this get files. And that's the first thing we want to have a look at in here is in the get files thing, you'll see the filter value in here, and you'll see the time calculation. The second thing that you'll notice is that if you go down to the applies to each, you'll see it's returned two results. That's because there's two items in the library. And if we click on to the update values down here, you'll see the uh, the item ID of the item. So its ID is three. So if you turned on the ID column, you'd see it. Uh, and also you'll see that if I then um, screw the screen, zoom the screen up a wee bit, if I then skip through to the next value, the second one, you'll see the second document was ID 4. So you'll see that it's only only processed those two documents. So the query has filtered out everything that we don't want. And, and if I heard my email ping. So if I look in my email, I'm hoping that in here um, I should have had a reminder come through. Um, let's see, my all results. No, it's not coming through. It hasn't come through. Um, it's probably just the filtering on my mailbox. I didn't want to show you all my uh, confidential bits and pieces in there with emails from my wife and so on. So, um, But you'll get the gist. It's basically sent an email. And if I go back into the uh, workflow run history, I can actually look at the email and see where it's sent to. So it sent the email to me. It's put the document name and the title, and it's included a link to the item down here. So that's my demo. As I said, you could use this in, uh, both for sending reminders uh, for items that need to be reviewed, say, um, say using the date field, calculating off a reminder date field, um, or you could also use it to calculate uh, to um, send a notification uh, for workflows that are in progress where it's waiting for someone to approve. So that's a separate workflow, so you could use it, drive that off a of status, just have this one running in the background once a day or um, once an hour, depending on how frequently you need it to do that sort of thing. Anyway, I hope this uh, has been success, uh, a good demo for you. If um, you want further information, please visit my blog, um, the link, in, link below. Uh, please subscribe and like my channel, and I'll do more of these soon. Thank you.